Have you ever heard of Viviani's theorem? It's this theorem that states that the sum of the shortest distances from any interior point to the sides of an equilateral triangle is equal to the triangle's height. Certainly a neat fact, but how can we prove it? Let's let triangle ABC be an equilateral triangle with height h and side length s. We'll pick a random point on the triangle to be p, and label the distances from p to the sides of the triangle x, y, and z. From here we can draw three more triangles with the sides of the original triangle as their bases and x, y, and z as their heights. And now the area of the original triangle is the sum of the areas of these three smaller triangles. We know the area of a triangle is 1 half bh. When we apply that formula here, it gives us 1 half sh equals 1 half sx plus 1 half sy plus 1 half sz. And that's pretty much all we need. Because when we factor out 1 half s and cancel it from each side, it leaves us with h equals x plus y plus z. There's another intuitive way to see this, but be warned that this is not a proof. This time we'll draw three small equilateral triangles with heights of x, y, and z. Now all of the altitudes of an equilateral triangle are equal, so let's only look at the vertical ones. The next key insight is that the quadrilateral encapsulating the area above the top two triangles is a parallelogram, which means we can slide the smaller triangle to the top and stack the other two beneath it. From there we can see that the height of the original triangle is equal to the sum of the heights of the smaller ones. Now again, this is not a proof, but it is a good way of conveying the intuition which can guide you toward a real proof.